take what they can get and slide. up YouTube what's cool what's cool what's happening it's time for life and it's time for love after luck of baby today we're talking about Quaylon and Chevelle I've been very excited about this one especially since Chevelle's cousin D mark oh, hold on anyway being quite excited especially after her cousin D mark told her what it is and what it is and when she was trying to buy that truck for Quaylon so anyway Quaylon's um, sister talks to Chevelle and she's like but you have my brother here in a place where he was shot and left for a day if anything ever happens to my brother I'll kill for him they're all quite anxious to lose Quaylon again like 12 years is a long 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 time think about yourself 12 years ago where the heck you were think about how far you've come and think about all that time period that he must have missed so it's really a long time but Quaylon I don't know he's a very likable character he's a very li likable dude he's very appreciative of all the things that Chevelle is doing for him he's not one of those people who's like but I need more and I want more and I deserve more nobody ever did that for me before He's like very appreciative even though he's been away for a very long time he doesn't expect the moon and the stars he's just happy to be out and to be there and amongst family and friends and his love Chevelle. now Chevelle is like come we need to go outside just follow me and Quaylon. everybody follows outside and it's it's very much like it's giving me that sweet 16 kind of vibe you know hey, everybody just follow me behind Quaylon. what's going on they all head outside and he sees the car everybody sees the car and they're all gasping and like excited and stuff like that Open your eyes. He does the what I would call the 180 surprise stance. So, like, you did this? <laughs> it's very interesting, very funny. This is my who? Now, he himself knows that it's ridiculous that he's got in a car because he's like, I have no driver's license, but I got a car. Man, stop it. That's what I said in my last video. Like, I was like, this guy, he's been away for 12 years. So, even if he had a driver's license, it is now it's now no longer valid and also when you come out of prison like that, i'm sure you're not able to just hop into a car and start driving it all by yourself so this car is useless and then in you know, the confessionals she very all like i don't care what nobody else got to say if she has if the guy has needs and he has things that he wants she's going to help fulfill those needs she's going to help him get to whatever he needs to get and whatever he needs but he doesn't need the car because he cannot actually drive the car so what does he need that car for i don't know when nobody got to say because when it comes to my man and he needs something right then and there, then I'm gonna do it. And he's like, yeah, I would, as much as I would like to take this thing on a, on a spin, I'm like, nope, ain't going back to jail. He's got his head screwed on and not like these other people um, who are trying to, you know, do things to jeopardize their release, you know. D-Mark, the cousin, he's still there at the party. He doesn't trust it. He's standing there like, he just doesn't trust the whole situation. Then they show everybody dancing, having a good old funky time. I always wonder where the music is. Because if there was music, I don't know. Can you edit that out? Like you can hear people talking and stuff. But they're dancing. But I don't hear any music. It's very odd. Anyway, I don't know how they do that. Quaylon's mom is sitting somewhere. Supposedly looking for something in her bag. Randomly, Chevelle's mom passes by. Uh-uh. Come here. Did you see that? What, the car? Girl, sit down. What kind of foolishness is that? Like Quaylon's mom thinks that the car was a little bit over the top and that it's probably used to like bribe him, okay? At first I was like, oh, this is good that Quaylon's mom is saying this because that shows that, you know, she doesn't just want to take, 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 take. But at the same time, I can also imagine if you're a mom and somebody else that's... I can also imagine if you're a mom and somebody else that barely even knows your son, allegedly, um, buys him a whole car. You're going to feel some type of way like you were not able to provide that yourself. Nobody in the family was able to provide that themselves after 12 years. You know, like they'll feel some type of way about that. And it's it's just too soon and it, it is ridiculous. But then the whole bribing thing, I did not expect that. I did not see that coming at all. And um, Chevelle's mom is like, why do you think it's bribe? What if she actually... No, Chevelle has a big heart. She really loves him. She's got a really big heart. And then Quaylon's mom is like, I've never seen somebody love somebody that much, <laughs> which is very interesting. And then Chevelle's mom is like, look, she's got a big heart. She could have used that money for herself, for Maela, which is her kid, or anything like that. Like, what if Quaylon is actually using her and demanding that he needs these things or wants this stuff? 
yeah, they just go back and forth. What if she's using him? What if he's using her? Back and forth like that. Eventually, they're all like, I'm done, I'm done. And they kind of leave the situation and they both go their separate ways. Very interesting characters. That's going to be, and there's going to be some friction there for sure. And I'm done with it. Right. Then they have this cake. Oh, they're going to cut the cake as if it's a wedding. They're going to cut the cake. Everybody gather around. They open this little box and there's this cake. Yes, probably enough to feed all the guests that are there, small group of people, without any of them catching diabetes or something like that. But you just bought a $5,000 car and this is the cake. There's no tears. There's no like uh, British Bake Off. There's no like, what's that other guy called? A guy on TLC that does all the cakes. Like a huge cake with like a jail cell that's broken and Quaylon just standing out there, there in victory or something. You guys couldn't come up with something. Y'all had to get like some cheap $10 cake. I, I don't know. It's it's weird. It's weird after spending all that on a car that he doesn't need and is not going to drive anytime soon. This is your cake. This is your celebration cake. Okay. Everybody's priorities are different. In any case, then... Demark is um is he's still not happy. He is still not happy with this whole situation. It's like you need to go on a journey, you need to really get to know each other, and these people do not know each other. That's the reality. They just talk on the phone and say, Hey, how's prison? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you locked down. Oh, was it a right? That's the only thing you could possibly talk about. Demark and Quaylon speak, and this is what they have to say. God, so I'm just like, is this gonna be the dude who built that foundation with her together? Or is this gonna be the same mother? Who always come into her life take what they can get and slide okay. and that's about it that's about that's about the end of of this episode like d mark who that guy he's one serious fellow like he's really he's really watching like the way i'm like oh i think quailin is a stand-up dude like he doesn't want to take the car for a spin even though he could he doesn't want to go back jeopardize going back to prison he wants to do things the right way and just like his answers his demeanor and how he's calm Seems cool. That's how you feel? No, no, that's what it is. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk about a whole different couple. New couple pretty much every single day. New video definitely every single day. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you hit bomb stomp as well to the subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Is Demar going too far? Is Quelan's mom going too far? Is Quail Chevelle's mom going too far? Is Chevelle herself going too far? Is Quelan just like not doing enough to make these two people come together these two families come together and really like what is he not doing enough to prove himself like what do you think what do you think about the situation do you trust Quaylon? do you think he's a stand-up dude like what i'm saying or do you think he's hiding and he's just saying all the right words to get by and to get what he needs but he's actually up to something what do you think and whilst you're doing all that commenting liking and subscribing make sure you hit the notification bell i'll see you in the next one which will be tomorrow make time for glorious life it's time to start what living it right god bless mm -hmm.